demonstration. I'll give you a demonstration with the, the method X. So if I give you two cards, and I take two cards, and you look at your cards, and say I drop my card and I spell teach. So I spell T E A C H, teach, with my card. Now you're going to look at the score. Since it's a Greek letter, you get two points. And because teacher five letters, five to eight letters in English, so that's four more points. So that's six points. Now, what you're going to try to do, look at your card and see if you can beat my six points. So the word is T. Okay. And I'm going to say Talladega. T A L L E D. E G A. Okay. <laughs> so, so what you realize though, right? You notice there are two teams, but we're also teaching the greater and the less than. Okay. okay. So if the scores are tied, mm -hmm. the one with the greater than sign breaks the tie break. Okay. Okay. Right. So, right. Right. Exactly. Right. right. So, right. so say, say you go, you take, you take the two cards, and we go again. And I spell say apple. Okay. Right. And you see how what you have in your hand to be apple. Be apple. Right. I use all my cards. So do I have to use A. No, you right. use that. Okay. And I put B. And uh, I say Bonwell. Bonwell. B A R N W L L. Right, so you so, so that's you, greater than you, right. You win that round, so you take the card. So you oh, do okay. that, and the person at the end of the game, with the most cards win. Okay. And teachers can do it in teams. Okay. Teachers can when they're teaching the vocabulary words, when they're teaching uh, prefixes, suffixes. They can say, okay, in this round, we're going to spell words ending in ing. So they spell jumping. Hello? So as you can see, there's a little math to it. So even though you're trying to expand their vocabulary, they're using the techniques of calculating the different points that they can actually yeah. so see, in our community, you see, after school program, they're playing basketball, you know, and they can come in this third hour and exactly. exercise the brain a little bit. Exercise the brain. Um, and it gives them a chance to work together, strategic thinking, um, learning, community learning, you know, collaborative learning. Some, someone may have a different way of doing vocabulary playing with the student. The student to learn from that student. Okay, I, 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 I use that word next time. And I'll show you how the board game actually Some of the issues, yes, some of the problem I've seen in the school is how they teach in graduate school and how they teach in elementary school. <laughs> everybody work together, everybody right. work together to get it done. Right. Everybody is a team, we learn as a team, we are successful as a team. Exactly. Right. And they don't want to do that in certain communities. How the board one goes, um, pretty much we have two dice. Um, but for first starters, we'll have you just do one. So I'll have you go ahead and roll the die. Perfect. Now you have the master. Pretty much you can actually choose any color on the board. Bear in mind, based on the scoring card, the green are work two, purple are work three, orange five, and blue seven. The reason why the blue is actually worth the most is because X and Z is the least amount of words that start with those. Oh, okay. So if you know those words easily, then that will make you pump to be the highest. So now that you have this, which one would you choose? So I'll say green. Okay. And which green letter? I'll say P. Okay. And so I'll say peace. Okay. Okay. Peace. And so you look in your scorecard. So for choosing green, you already have two. And peace is between five. Five and eight. Five and eight. So that's six. So your, your, your opponent will roll the dice and see what they can beat that six points. So they divide on green. 